On behalf of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, or MHI Group, I would like to welcome you all to our panel discussion. What will it take for carbon capture technology to really grow into the role it needs to play for all of us to reach net zero? How can we develop an end-to-end -end CCUS value chain where captured carbon is reused in industrial, agriculture, and other applications? How can we turn CO2 from a liability into an asset? Well, the East Coast Cluster is the most fantastic combination of 12 um, organisations, and we want more to join that cluster, coming together to really not only decarbonise the region, but actually to revitalise it. There's a fantastic opportunity of actually creating a hub of new green technology that could generate thousands of new jobs. Our Vivid report talks about potentially 50,000 new green technology jobs, as well as protecting some of the more harder to debate sectors, the heavy industry you know, that you were talking about, and helping reduce and take and remove those carbon. Part of what your um, introduction mentioned, Kintaro, is this idea of the ecosystem. Can you talk a bit about um, what that means? Obviously, MHI is very involved in technology to capture the CO2. But what other kinds of companies and industries do you think are really important to engage and involve in this creation of a value chain? So we, we, we are the technology providers for capturing carbon. But uh, that means that uh, the captured carbon has to be transported and stored uh, to a safe <coughs> place. And mm -hmm. this is what uh, the companies in the UK, in, in UK it, uh, as uh, Claire mentioned, BP, uh, Equinor, these companies are providing such kind of service. So we are partnering with them. Also, we are collecting uh, the, capturing the carbon from the emitters of today, meaning that there will be lots of, lots of parts. But now, uh, Claire said about twen uh, 12, but uh, we believe that the, the numbers of emitters uh, participating in this uh, cluster will increase. Uh, expanding those into uh, sort of uh, uh, industries like uh, waste, waste, waste to heat, uh, they also burn the waste and uh, emit carbon. So we are uh, developing a system to capture uh, the carbon from such kind of uh, emitters as well. So mm -hmm. uh, there will be many, many participants in that uh, sort of uh, uh, you know, uh, clusters. And uh, these are all our partners to build this uh, uh, carbon market, I'd say. The, the carbon price in the UK does help a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, 50 pounds a ton. Um, if, it gets, if it gets much higher than that, quite a few bits of carbon capture infrastructure will start to pay for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if it continues to rise to 100 pounds a ton, a huge amount of carbon capture and storage will happen without any other intervention. Mm. So, so the carbon <clears throat> price is really, really important. But the challenge with that is, a lot of our industrial emitters are producing commodities which are traded on a global basis. Right. Um, and the challenge yes. is if you have um, other jurisdictions around the world who are producing the same commodity without that carbon pricing mechanism, it becomes very difficult for our, for our UK producers to protect against that. To be competitive. So you, mm -hmm. you, you need to retain that competitive element or simply you decarbonize in the UK just by deindustrializing. You just shut down. Yeah. Um, and that isn't the right answer. So we need to combine that carbon pricing with some mechanism of, of ensuring that there is a, a level playing field. You know, the world is watching. They are watching how is this cluster going to take off and are we going to get it over the line and what are the kind of government business models because other governments have got this problem. How can we remove, remove carbon quickly to achieve our goals? And more importantly, what we feel is that once the technology which is uh, MHI is a leader on is managing on the capture, then after that you basically need to capture, measure, benchmark and report. And that's what the Connex platform which we are creating. Uh, in as an ecosystem and partnership where you know you get other players who are the emitters or uh, who would be the end customers which we will partner with will actually be able to leverage the data transparency uh, and and be able to uh, uh, orchestrate and see what is it that they really want to do as part of this uh, ecosystem you have a single goal 1.5 so once you have a goal you can measure it but you need to have data and the right technology to be able to measure that. Yeah. Uh, uh, otherwise, we'll be all working in silos. The UK is leading the globe in this, uh, <coughs> through this clusters. Uh, uh, the, uh, there is a model of uh, capturing the CO2, storage, and building a whole you know, value chain of uh, CO2 over this. If we are able 
to create a carbon ecosystem that sees companies share infrastructure, reduce risks, and cut costs. We can move them, and all of us, faster towards net zero. And as importantly, we should be able to protect jobs in industrial heartlands and create new opportunities for growth.